Faster, can I get to your left a little bit? I'll be your host, I am Jay Tando. They are getting ready to kick off here from El Camino College. Beautiful night here, Saturday, 4th of August. I'm gonna have John Tyler uh, helping me out with some color commentary. I'll be your lead analyst, I am Jay Tando. We're gonna get things going here in just a few moments as we wait to kick off. The Miami Gardens Ravens traveling all the way from, from Florida. And we've got the Wilmington Pilots from here in California. From the 40-yard line, they set up to kick off. From sunny California. Thanks for joining us here. If you're tuning into the, the webcast, AG Sports. This production is presented by AG Sports, along with Battle Productions. Here's the kickoff, fielded at the 20, up to the 25, 30, 35, 40. He's going to get tackled at about the 39-yard line where they'll start action. The Ravens are in black. Wait, we got flags. We got extracurriculars here. And both benches have cleared. Wow, we, we're not even out of the kickoff when we've got a bench clearing incident here. Wow. Let's hope that uh, cooler heads prevail. Guys, guys.
All right, so hopefully we get uh, cooler heads prevailing here and uh, get back to some football. Everybody off the field, we can't see. It's too many people. If y'all ain't helping, y'all got to go. Okay, go get your treat. So we're waiting for this. Uh, hopefully, this injury is uh, okay and he gets uh, proper treatment, and we move on with the rest of this game. If you're just tuning in, we've got the Youth National Preseason Playoff Championship here. The Wilmington Pilots from California and the Miami Gardens Ravens visiting from Florida. The Ravens wearing white jerseys, black pants, just like their NFL counterparts, and black helmets. And the Pilots from Wilmington are wearing red uh, jerseys, red pants, black helmets. And uh, let's hope that this uh, young man on the field is going to be okay.
The battle for 12U supremacy is on the line. The wait is finally over. On August 4th, the Ravens, the Pilots. Miami, get ready. I'm going to Los Angeles. Who will be number one heading into the 2018 season? There's only one. Find out on August 4th. Don't miss it. This is a man's sport. You ain't so bad. You are so bad. You think I'm afraid of you? Guys, y'all don't want no smoke. Y'all really don't. The Miami Gardens Ravens. The Wilmington Pilots. Live on Generation Next. 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Brought to you by Battle. Only difficulty I've had is that there's no white hat. No one could go to a, <laughs> take a look, four officials, nothing there. No, no one could go to a big five. <laughs> so we'll keep our eyes peeled for infractions. All right, we're getting the players back on the field here. Uh, Wait for a second rumble? Look at this. Yeah, I imagine we're just going to have a good talking to here and get, get all these kids on the same page and make sure we don't have any other developments. Referee should say, I have more flags than one in my pocket. Teams come together in unity. This isn't the post-game prayer, is it? No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is so absurd because we've already had the kickoff. Yeah, and we had a meeting of the minds earlier. Yeah, the the minds earlier, and we're, we're doing it right now. And uh, This is a smart move if I'm a ref. I'm going to do this because we just need uh, these kids to understand, hey, we're here to have some fun, not to uh, break any bones. What is it Mr. Black says? Win with class, lose with dignity. That's correct. Mr. Darius Black, announcer for the Inglewood Black Army. I'm here with John Tyler, he's to my right. He's gonna do our color commentary. I'm your lead analyst, I'm Jay Tando. We're gonna get this game going, trust me. It's just a little bit of a slow start after this kickoff. I mean, we like more football, but not like this. And the blessing, the best part of all, no tense. We don't have to stand to see it play. We are grateful. So, back to game action in a moment. 9.49 to play in this opening quarter. No score from El Camino College. Youth National Preseason Playoff Championship right here. In our, uh, in our little football world, we, we've had, uh, saw Brian Flowers here earlier today. Uh, Mike Farinas, a long time San Diego Thunder. And then uh, Jeremy Ruel, the wide receiver. Uh, saw him here today. So. Good to see them pro today. Legends, right there. They, certainly. Farinas has been playing since. <laughs> seems no, like he's not, been around. 1920. The, hi, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> he's been around forever. Flowers too. B Flow put up great numbers for the Blackhawks, and he went over to Vegas and got himself a championship mm -hmm. there. And Ruel, I mean, who? I mean, my gosh, his ability to create plays at the wide receiver spot was remarkable. Outstanding. And now, and now his son playing uh, in, in, in top-notch levels of, of youth tackle, dude, which is wonderful. Here we go. Just about ready to get back to game action from the 45-yard line. The Wilmington Pilots, first and 10. Again, 9.49 to play in this opening quarter. 
No score yet. At quarterback for the Pilots, it looks like it's Andrew DeVoe, number two, in the shotgun, awaiting the snap. First and ten. Well, they've outfitted these kids pretty good. Those are nice uniforms. I'm, I'm impressed. And I like that we could actually read the numbers. <laughs> with, with Washington numbers for the uh, Washington Huskies numbers for the Ravens. Yeah, I like those, I like those jerseys. They, they I figured like you they, would. They, they look like their NFL counterpart for sure. Is this game going to resume? Uh. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're, we might be here a while. Let's not. Put on the kettle. We might be here a while. <laughs> Good for you, fans. Yeah, I'm glad to do it. Yeah, they want football. They don't want people standing around. They want football. So it looks like. Here we go. Here we Woo! go. It's a game action. <laughs> Andrew DeVoe awaits the snap and the. Shotgun formation. They got two receivers split right to the left and a four wide set. He's got it. He's going to hand it off to the tailback, number five. Heinz Ward, Le Viva. <laughs> John, you could try. Heinz Ward? That's great. Okay, you know what sort of generation he came from. Yeah. Uh, two on the stop, Ryan Mack, uh, amongst many others. They crowded the box while there was no other option. Gained about a yard there. Short game. So second and nine from the 41 with 9-19 and ticking in this opening quarter. Still no score here as we're just underway from El Camino. Lilo Mayava. I think you nailed it. I love Samoan names. Yeah. DeVoe awaits the shotgun snap. He's got a receiver in motion, and we have, we have whistles. From the back judge, I believe. Yeah, he probably didn't like that receiver going in motion. Uh, yeah. Procedure. Procedure. I'm going to back him up five. I still don't think this game has started. I'll stop, <laughs> I'll stop the snark. I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm try <laughs> we, won't, we don't believe. 36-yard line. We're going to go with second down and about 15. 14, actually. Shotgun formation. DeVoe awaits the snap. Motion. High snap. He's got it. Surveys the field. He's going to dump it off oh. into the dirt. Incomplete pass. Well, I should say into the Astro. I'll bring up third down. We had one guy moving around on a potential fly sweep, and then it looked like you know, one of my least favorite plays is the very well. It, it, it just that screen passes take so long to develop. They do. They do. You got to get the, the and they snuffed it out when they brought in five from the 36. Third and 14. <clears throat> Devoe waits the snap. He's got it. They do hand it off inside. He breaks his tackle. He's off to the races to the 47. Boy, that's a close call. They might, they might gamble here because they're close to the first down. I don't think they get. Well, look, no, they, they're going to give him a first down. By about the tip of the football. Yeah, they, they're going to move the chains. An excellent speed. Yeah, he got that corner. He, he was gone. He, he was. Jones was impressive. Broke that one tackle, which is key. When you want to sweep, you usually need to beat one guy, and he did. Moves the chains first and ten for uh, the Pilots. As they're just about, on, they're on the cusp of Raven territory at the 48. We got a timeout on the field. Oh, they were short. That's why they're moving the chains yeah, back. Yeah, I thought they were quite short, so uh, not very far, though. They might I consider was riverboat gambling here because it's... It's not, it's less than a yard. It's going to be fourth and short. Call for the measurement. Or, th or third, I wasn't counting. Yeah, that was, previous play was third and 14. And they picked okay. up probably 13 and a half of those. Mm -hmm. um, they're not quite there, but they're they are. Are. Yes, yep, good, okay. Correctable errors, we appreciate that. That's right, so fourth and uh, inches. As a, well, fourth in the yard, we'll call it. From the 49, they need to get to the 50. 
And they are going to go for it. They're going to run. He's oh got it. Gosh. And some. Spins out of a tackle. He gets a good three, four yards. That is a first down. You had to be convinced with the four-man front that this is going to be easy money. And as we talk about the play there, uh, the player that was down at the start of the game, we have an ambulance coming over to the uh, clubhouse uh, behind the Wilmington bench. So we hopefully wish him the best. Okay. Yeah, hopefully Me too. He gets uh, treated. But a four-man front wasn't going to get the job done on, on a short yardage play? No. That not, did not the right get the job it. done. Yep. First down there at the 47. They're going to run it again. This time he gets the corner. And that is close to another first down to the uh, 37. Do they need the pass? No, at this rate, no. They could do these run little fly sweeps all night long. A triple option. Yeah. So, second and shorts from the, uh, let's call it the 39. 39. With 6.49 to play in this opening quarter, we have no wow. score here. Handing it off Ooh. again. This time he's met in the backfield. They got penetration in Anth the backfield. Anthony Matheson j just came in l l like, a, like a possessed bull. And, and mowed the guy down. He decided he didn't want to get blocked on that play. He came in and crashed the party. Nice defensive play there. Third down. It's one of the rare, uh, rare plays where there is a snap from under center. It's, right. it's the way of football now. Most of it is, is shotgun and the pistol. Yep, yeah, that's the way the offenses are going. He's and then when you get to the NFL, it's like, oh, gosh, you're good, thrown back into Byzantine era, you know? All right, so we got third down now, and about six from the 40, uh, we'll call it the 43. And to, uh, toss play, he's going to toss to the tailback, and he's going to not quite get enough. He's about three yards short. This is the big three, difference three, in, three, in three, the eight, first eight, game that I did this afternoon to three, and this one is that... There was just precision timing go, by the Wilmington the offense. He got the snap and within half a second, pitched it off. Yep. Got it out of his hand. He's got that Nebraska option going back in the 90s, 80s. Shotgun, it looks like they're going to go for it on fourth and short. They need about three and a half yards here. Ball marked inside the 39, and they're going to... Remember, most teams at this age don't, don't have a, a complete kicking game. Right. So you, you just have to, you have to gamble. There's no yeah. other choice. They're rolling the dice. Mm. And the shotgun, he's got it. They will hand it off, number six, and Ooh. he's, no, nope, he's not going to make it. That might be horse collar. That was Aaron Warren. Oh, that, that that but what else are you going to do? You got to have a the number. I don't think we could call horse, yeah, yeah. horse collar, but we'll see. No, no flag. No, there was. Oh, there, there was, was on the okay. far side, uh, in between the four and the zero. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what they call it. Yeah, you might be right on the horse collar. The Terrell Owens rule. Because it okay, was uh, Penalty declined. Penalty the offense, I guess. So they decline it. So turnover okay. on downs. And now we get to see the Ravens offense for the first time this evening as they take over on a change of possession at the 41-yard line. What number do we got for our quarterback here? Cedric Bailey. Cedric Bailey is our quarterback for the Ravens. He's in the shotgun. He will hand it off. Up the middle they go. Scampers for a couple of yards. That handoff to Davion Goss. Gave That's him a, two. Yeah, they gave him a couple. So that'll move it up to about the 40, 43 and a half yard line on second down and about seven. Bailey surveys. Yeah, the gimmick shotgun. Hmm. Spread the field with four wide receivers. But they were Another swarming. Handoff. Well, they do spread the, the field with that, and they, it does provide some money. Five minutes, that's going to be difficult to penetrate tonight if that's going to be the case, if there's any indication. Yeah. But then again, they haven't bounced anything outside yet, no. and we, we've yet to see the full repertoire of the Ravens. Yeah. On third down, in about six, the Ravens at the 45-yard line with 4.06 and ticking in this first quarter. No score here from El Camino. Back to throw is Bailey. He's going to let it rip. Oh. It's caught. In the, he's going to be well short. Back to the line of scrimmage to the 45. Wilmington holds on defense on third down. Let's see if uh, 
We got a punt coming. Well, you had a tight end and a split end going out about five yards. In, in what kind of mimicked a screen it wasn't. They didn't have any blocking guys no, in not. front of them. But there was no one to help them move up. So that's why we have a potential... Well, that, there's, there's not going to be a kicking situation. We've got to get used to yeah, you know, going back to you be, tackle uh, that. They're not going to kick. They're just going to keep going. Again, we face a uh, six-yard fourth and six. <laughs> Bailey is going to line up. They, look at the triples to the right and one no. to the left on a four-wide set. They're going to stack them. No, look, four receivers to the right yeah. and one to the left, five wide. They got three guys stacked. Bailey, back to throw. Oh, look out. Time. It's out of time. Out of time. Down he goes, back to the 37-yard uh, line. You have a second and a half about to get the ball out of your hands. If it goes past a second and a half, as you saw, the, the, those two ends came crashing in, and there was no there chance was for no Bailey. Chance. That internal clock alarm went off. It was too late. No, way too late. So with three minutes to play, 3.02 to play in the opening quarter, Wilmington will have the ball in great field position. As they uh, take over at the 30, about the 33-yard line. We haven't seen a pass by Wilmington, right? No. No. I don't think he's thrown the ball. Nope. And again, they take it to the ground. Nah. Number five, met in the backfield. Our best friend there, Heinz Ward, Leo Malvaya. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to call him Heinz Ward Smith. <laughs> so second down after the loss on the play. Andrew DeVoe has not had the opportunity to show off his arm. Let's see if he does here. Yeah, sometimes push comes to shove, and, and we'll see. Clock runs with, well, they haven't run it yet. 2.52 remaining, first of four. On second down, they're backed up to the. Yeah, that was a run play. They should have run the clock. 43. It's a high snap. Oh, boy. They do could do the handoff up the middle. He gets a few yards this time. Okay, I mean, he's got so much lateral movement, and that is really helping. Our, our buddy Heinz Ward, yeah. Junior. Junior. <laughs> to the 36 they go. Third down. And they need about seven for the first down. With 220, now the clock's moving. 227 and ticking in this opening quarter. No score. I know, I bleed sarcasm, but they, they, they should pass, should they? You'd think. As we get back to action here, DeVoe. Oh boy, it's passing. They're going to empty the backfield. Hey, he's going to throw. And look at that arm. Oh, oh man. In and out. Going for his receiver. It's going to bring up fourth down. Look for Orion Kupu, who had just passed his secondary. And unfortunately, the pass did not have the, uh, you know, enough loft to get to him, but we got to see his arm, and uh, hopefully it, it's... It, 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 a little bit more air in Yeah. A little more zip, a little more crisp, fourth and eight. Fourth and eight, and I guess uh, they're, yeah, they're just going to go, go there's, for it. There's no kicking game tonight. From, uh, from the third, <laughs> has it been that all day? Mostly. Yeah. I'll, I'll explain after this, but well, I could say it. Uh, guy, guy, would, guy would go up to the line, uh, under center and then come back about seven yards and take the snap and then quick kick. Right, kind of like a Randall Cunningham, right, John Elway. Right. For back in the day of the Philly Eagles. From the 37 back to throw. He's oh, in trouble. Boy. He's going to take a seat. All the way back to the 40. This is a defensive ball game tonight, gentlemen Definitely. and ladies. It's uh, the defense are bringing it. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. And the Ravens are going to have the ball at their uh, 49. That was a critical loss of 12. Now, this has been fantastic. We've had wonderful turnout. We've, we've had excited crowds. Great food today. First and 10, Bailey and the Ravens at the 49. As they line up, they got three wide receivers to the right and one to the left. As direct snap to Bailey, he's going to throw mm. it to the wide right, and he's going to get outside for a gain of about f six. Didn't look like much initially, but he was able to get upfield. 
and they only need about four yards to convert to uh, the next first down. So nice play. They're in territory of Wilmington now. I believe that's the first time for the Raiders. Yeah, and Luane uh, McCoy made the catch on the uh, shoestrings and w was able to uh, maneuver about six and a half yards. He made something out of nothing there. Mm -hmm. From the 45, Ravens, they're in Wilmington pilot territory as Bailey awaits the snap. He's going to wing it out again to the McCoy. left. Makes something. That's a first down. They're bound down to the 39 of Wilmington. Luane Lu McCoy this time on the left side. All of a sudden, it's Air Ravens. <laughs> this, this is good. They're going to mark it at the 40 now. 54 ticks left in this opening quarter. No score from El Camino. Youth National Preseason Championship game here. From Florida, the Ravens in the snap, the direct snap for the shotgun. And he's going to run it up the middle. Gauze. 35 yard line, five yard game. And among the three games that I've seen here today, this could be the uh, first one to finish, first uh, opening quarter to finish, no score. Defensive ball game thus far. Second down and about five from the 35 for the Ravens. Bailey's got it. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw it again. Ooh -wee. Does he got it? They're going to call oh, it. He caught it. Yeah, they're going to call it a reception. To the 27, they're moving the chains again. They're the, doing it by airmail here. They're trying to snap this before the uh, quarter siren. I don't it, think they will. It was all ground chuck, and now it's... <laughs> ground we're, chuck. We're going to, yeah. We're going to go with the uh, second quarter here as we end the first. No score here from El Camino. Not a shout out to the boot. Not a shout out to the boot. So we're flipping the field. The Ravens will have the ball. They're going to mark it at the 27-yard line. First and 10 to start this second uh, quarter. Thank you for watching here on AG Sports. This game is also broadcast on uh, Generation Next Youth Sports Network on YouTube today. One thing we've noticed... With that meeting of the minds after the hit and after, after the tussle, kind of like you know Miami Notre Dame from back in the day, is that there's been tempo and there's been flow and that's been excellent. Yes, we've recovered from that opening half kickoff mess. And here we go, starting the second quarter from the shotgun from the 27. Ravens handing it off, looking to break some tackles. He does, and he bowls ahead for a couple more yards. That's some tough hard running right there. We got a flag. Looks like we got a hit out of bounds. Yeah, uh, about two, three yards out of bounds on Gauze. That's going to set him up nice. Who was able to maneuver outside. It's amazing. This is 12 and under. I see people with tree trunks for legs. I know. These are big kids. And, and, and the, the lateral movement and the ability to just keep the legs chugging to get that extra yardage is going to be very important in this game. So they're going to they're going to move it. They're going to have great uh, position here as they're going to move it all the way down inside the 10-yard line. You see Justin James, 59 offensive lineman for the Ravens. He looks like a JV lineman. Yeah. He, I'm impressed. Big kid. I'm amazed. And under, yeah. and they look like high schoolers. Right. Uh, down inside the 10, about the 8-yard line. First and goal facing the Ravens. We might have our first points here as Bailey... We'll hand it off, and then he's going to try to scamper up the middle and maybe a yard. And that was Anthony Matisse. Matheson. Matheson. Anthony Matheson on the carry. So second and goal from about the seven. And they've been in no huddle for a while, even near the end of the first. 
That's impressive for a 12 and under to have their scripted plays like that. Bailey, they'll hand it off again. Matheson. Well, there's no school. I mean, they, they could do no huddle right now. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, once school, school starts, there's going to be no no huddles. <laughs> Third and goal. They're inside the five at about the four-yard line. Can they punch it in here? Well, I guess it's four-down territory. <laughs> right. Nine minutes and six seconds and ticking in this second quarter here before, before the first half expires. And we might have our first score here. Third and goal. Bailey handing it off. He's yes, he's in. I think he got in. Number seven, Davian Gauss, with a touchdown run from three yards out. Big run for him. Big drive for him. We were talking about his leg power earlier. You could see it there that a lot of players are tackling high. As you know, eh, not much success. But Gauss is able to have the ability to just continue chugging. You gotta make something out of nothing. You gotta create. You need that extra yard. Every little yard matters. And he was able to, uh, to traipse in for the score. Well look, they do have a kicker. Oh. They're gonna go for the extra point here. Obviously not NFL oh, rules as he uh, does the extra point. <laughs> and it's good. Oh my God. That was a throwback to the 40s. Straight on kickers. And, and in the youth game, a kick is two points. Say that again? In the youth game, a kick is two points. Oh. At this level. Oh, okay. So that makes it 8 0. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, they're obviously not doing NFL rules because they would have had to line it up at the, uh, I think, the 17. Yeah. Well, I was mentioning. But this is my first youth tackle games in 17 years, oh my God. and I had forgotten that in some divisions, the kick is two, the run or the pass for the point convert is one. <laughs> wow, that makes little sense, but hey, <laughs> that's what they want to do. So right. it's 8-0 here from El Camino as the visiting team from Miami Gardens, the Ravens, take the lead. Nice run there by Davy and Gauss. Yeah, he wanted it, man. He bowled his way in from three yards out. Got him on the board. From the 40, they'll kick it off. 8.50 to play in this second quarter. Oh. Fielded 15, up to the 20, the 25, 30. Still moving up to the 33-yard line. And no extracurriculars, that's good. They're on a roll, one in a row, where Mari Robinson makes the tackle. Good return of about 17 yards. Yeah, that was a good one, and let's see if the pilots can answer now. What a great crowd. They really filled up the stadium here. And this... Uh... Families, families of families, families. Yeah. This is good. Friends, foes, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Pilots getting set up here. The thing is, there's an energy here that you could feel, and, and, it's, it, and it, you could hear it in our voices. It, yeah, it's great. great. The electricity is great. DeVoe will hand it off as they go back to the ground game. No gain. 7.46 and ticking in the second quarter. Miami Gardens on top, 8-0. And uh, lining up for second down and 10, DeVoe, the quarterback. Andrew is getting things lined up. It looks like they're going to have a full backfield, tailback and fullback. And they're going to have a wide receiver to the left and to the right. Shotgun formation. T formation. Now they're going to switch oh. one of the tailbacks out to the left. And they're going to go up the middle, nothing. Boom, they're met. Right there at the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third and ten. I almost had a heart attack when you said T formation. <laughs> Probably hasn't. <laughs> We're old school here. No. We've seen it all. No, yeah. If they run a wishbone, I'm walking home. <laughs> <laughs> third down now. It looks like it's going to be third. Actually, third and about seven, actually. Uh, 20, what is that? 33. 33. Or 6.42 and ticking in this second quarter. 8-0, Miami Gardens on top. 
Well, the pilots convert here. If we could get semi-pro crowds like this. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, my gosh. Shotgun Ooh. fakes it. He's going to keep it. DeVoe makes guys miss. He's going to have a first down and more. Okay, the crowd is going absolutely belligerent because there's a fat block. Uh, DeVoe, wow, that was a My nice goodness. He put his head down. Got 28, and he's not listed. We want to give him credit. 28 is not listed. Oh, it looks like it was Caleb. New Yandel. Oh, I take that back. New Yandel. Yeah, Caleb, he laid that. Wow. So that moves the chains. First down, the pilots got some momentum. From the 45-yard line, first and 10 shotgun for DeVoe. Nice running there. He looked like Randall Cunningham from the Eagles mm. back in the 80s. Oh, you old souls out there will get nah. that reference. Here is DeVoe. He is going to hand it off this time. Hines Ward will... Oh, Aaron White, number six. Aaron White, number six. On the carry. Yep. Oh, you might be right. We're not using binoculars. Good job. Yeah, it was, it was our buddy, Heinz Ward Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Second down coming up, facing the pilots. 40, uh, 48-yard line. They need about eight yards for the first down. 5.47 to go in this Second quarter. If you, if you want to watch a play regarding uh, Randall Cunningham, Philadelphia Buffalo, 1990. He uh, crawls out of pressure inside his own zin, end zone, throws a 95-yard touchdown I pass. I saw that. Play. You remember that play? Yep. Yeah, the Buffalo didn't have much of a pass defense. No. So here is a tackle on the backfield. Well, no, he spun out. He got a couple yards. Orion Kupu with the run. That'll bring up fourth and five, and you know they're going to go for it. They're at midfield. Yeah, I mean, that was when they had the, the K-gun for Buffalo. Right. And they didn't invest in any defensive no. backs. <laughs> Until 1992. It was the, much later. So, yeah. Uh, those, those early 90s Buffalo oh, Bills and fun Eagles, man. To watch. Firepower. Yep. Shotgun from the 49. So we'll call it four, or third and six with 454 to play in the second quarter. We have a smart football crowd. I'll explain after this. Empty backfield. DeVoe will throw. He's got his man in the backfield. Can he make some guys miss? No, no. he cannot. They got him by the ankle and finished the job, and he's lost in the backfield. That play is really a product of what we see today. A lot of swing outs, a lot of lateral throws, where you expect the wide receiver to do the, do the rest. Yes, he's got to make a, a, a scat back receiver's got to make a guy miss, and he, he couldn't do it on that play. And it looks like we have... So hey. on the field, uh, Ravens call timeout, fourth that, down. And that's their first. They have two left. Wilmington has all three remaining. So 45, 46, well, well 47 yard line, <laughs> uh, it's fourth down. So these guys have been going for it all day long. So this won't be any different. Eight. What do you think of this, John? You think it's uh, smart? You need to run up the gut and maybe do it out of shotgun because if you're five yards back, it, it takes that much longer to gain yardage. What I was mentioning about this, this crowd is that you, you got to look at not just the guy holding the ball. You got to look at your, 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 uh, your blocking backs making hits to uh, open up available space for your quarterback. And that's why this wonderful group right in front of us you know, but 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 a bunch of football dads. You know, they're, they're, you could hear that. Ooh. Yeah, they see. Because the they they, stu they they study everything else. It's not just focus on one guy. That's why there's eleven. I think we got some H back fathers here. That's why. Yeah. Uh, Four so, down. Big play. So I'm very impressed with this crowd that they see the whole game, not just who has the ball. Yeah. <clears throat> so fourth and a short eight, as they go for it. From the 48, they need to get to the uh, 45 of the Ravens. The Pilots trail 8-0 with 4:19 to play in the second quarter. Devoe awaits the snap from the shotgun. They're going to have three receivers to the left, one to the right, one tail. Too long. And they develop it and let's see if they can get some blocking downfield. No. A screen pass on fourth yeah, and eight. I, that's a head scratcher. It really is. They didn't have the blocking, and that will be turnover on downs. And that was about two and a half seconds in his hand. So on come the Ravens as they, uh, the defense holds. 
crowd full uh, oh. dusk here. I'm I'm impressed. Yep. It's beautiful. The haze coming in. Excellent camera work by uh, AG Sports here. Timeout Wilmington there Time first. Out. They both have two left. Oh, screen passes take way too long to develop. Uh, you could take my soapbox away from me if you want, but my gosh, on a fourth and short where you have to get the first down, you throw We're yourself 10 yards back. A little uh, dust shot here. Yeah, that's Our wonderful. Camera crew. Isn't that beautiful? We are spoiled. Sorry to interrupt you there. Oh, John. no, that's fine. You took my soapbox away from me about screen passes in general. And on fourth down, don't run that ever again. <laughs> I wanted the, uh, the YouTube audience at home to see just how beautiful a uh, gig we have tonight yeah, here. Majestic up the press scenes. Box. Gorgeous sunset. Excellent camera work from our crew here, AG Sports. Back to game action. The Ravens are on offense as uh, Bailey. Awaits the snap in the shotgun. He's got time. Oh! Loose ball. They got it back. Wow, that was a fortunate recovery there. Offense recovers. Ravens retain possession. Guy that sprung to the left, Jamarcus Smith, was open. Yeah, he had time. He had time, and then boom, out. I mean, yeah, the receivers yeah. had separation, and uh, that's what you want. And he just didn't have the pull the trigger. Second down and long now after the loss. What do you think? First to 15 wins today? First? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, it wasn't a snark. I'm just yeah, impressed with the defense. You might be right because it's a defensive ball game. Oh, back boy. to throw into the grass. In the into the grass. No flag. Yeah, it was close. He was uh, backing up in the pocket. No flag. That'll bring up third and long with 3.46 to play uh, before halftime. I just, I just think that the defense is maybe half a step faster tonight. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, they got the edge right now. The def both defenses are playing pretty good football. Uh, Ravens with their 8-0 lead, trying to add to it, but now they face a long third and 15, back up at their 47, 48. And Another they timeout? All the way to the 38. Oh, second the, uh, timeout for Wilmington. Miami. They have uh, one left. Miami going through their timeouts. Let's fi find a, let's find a way to them in, in this first half like this. If if you just need to get something specifically done, but in the second half you got to use them at opportune times. Never in the third quarter. I agree. I agree. A couple more minutes to play here in this this first half defensive battle. Yeah, I'm impressed with the size of these kids. Some of these guys can play in high school. And we had we had a couple guys in my high school team that got to uh, or at least got to try out the NFL. Okay. Michael Ryan played the Washington State Cougars, and he ended up going to the New York Giants for a minute. Dave Johnson ended up going to the University of Washington. Uh, Vince Odafall, Stanford, all those guys have a couple of hockey in the NFL. Third and twelve. Thirteen. Here we go. Third and long, facing the Ravens. Three forty-six to play in the half. Bailey awaits the snap. He's got it. He's going to wheel Ooh. to his left. Sets up. He got to let it go. Receiver's got it. Can he make somebody miss? Okay. It's a nice play, but yeah. it's short. And you know they're going to go for it. So that's uh, that picks up some good yardage. That makes a very makeable fourth down in about four. They're inside a Wilmington Pilot territory now to about the 46, 47. No, no, they're going to mark it at the 40. Chance Robinson with the catch earlier. Now he springs out this side. We'll call it fourth and four from the 44. Please, a short yardage play. <laughs> right? Not a long developing one. No. As they're going to go shotgun, he's going to wheel out to his right. Okay. He's got his man caught. Number seven. Number seven just, caught it. Davian. Oh, no, 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 no. Was one. it Ryan? One. Okay, that was number seven. It was number two. It's one. It's one. It's one. Oh, Josh. Josiah, Josiah Trader. Trader, okay. Josiah Trader. Hey, they got the first down. That and, one looked uh, like a seven. So. And he, he hates walls. He's like, I want to go this way. And they're like, oh, no, the heck you're not. 
but got the yardage. Ravens have found some offense as uh, Bailey goes to the air. First down and 10 from the 33. He's going to survey the field from the shotgun. He's going to throw it again. Oh, oh. That's intercepted. Pilot football, 25, 30, 40. And that is, uh, is that Nazarus Williams? Nazarus Williams. Number 22, Nazarus Williams with the interception. With 2.13 to play in the half. That's a big play for Wilmington. Decent loft on the football. However, he was throwing into double coverage. And, and Williams just had the opportunity there to get the ball to Ty's point and make a big play. He did. He stepped up and made the play. Big defensive play. Let's where, see where they mark it. They're going to back it up to the 30. With two minutes, 13 seconds to play in the half. And Wilmington needs points now. This is, this is the drive to, we were saying early, earlier, it's like basketball, final possession of a half. You have to get points yes. at, that, at that time. From the shotgun, Ooh. they're going to throw. Ooh. Another wide receiver screen goes no. backwards. They're, up field, up field. They are not setting it up. Uh, the blocking isn't there for those wide receiver screens. There's nobody there to take out the defensive backs, and they're just cleaning them up. Four-yard loss. Backed up to the 27. Second down with 149 clock ticking in this first half. Pilots need to take to the air. <laughs> yes. Pun intended. And downfield, yep. Right. DeVoe looks to throw. He did oh. it in the grass. Boy, that was a great rule. Third down and long facing the Pilots. As they stop the clock with 135 to go in the first half. Yeah, the problem was Lilo Maiava had, uh, had not turned around in time to catch the football, number five in red. DeVoe gets the play from the sideline. They're going to spread the field. This could be good as they're going to have two receivers to the right, to the left, four wide set, one tailback. DeVoe has a high snap. He always oh, takes in trouble. too long. He is in trouble. It's got to go and to the gut. He's down. Takes a seat all the way back at the 17. I'll give the coaches credit. You have three coaches there who basically are wearing soccer shirts over there at about the, between the 25 and the 20. And they're all, uh, Miami used their last time out. And they're all making signals at the same time. But you've seen it before in the pro and the college game where a couple of them are throwing dummy signals and maybe the one in the middle is the one that, 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 that they're looking at. Right. But my gosh, if, you, if you're 12, wouldn't that be confusing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep it simple. You don't want to make it rocket science for 12 and under kids. I still am trying to learn my high school playbook. It's, we ran a pro style offense. Oh wow! We called it the TV offense. My our coach loved uh, watching the Seahawks and the Huskies. And if he saw something he liked on TV, he put it in our the playbook. The TV offense. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a pro style offense. It was heady stuff for uh, 15, 16, 17 year old kids. Because they're possibly more complex than maybe uh, maybe high school option or right. something like that. Good energy in this one. We've had good, we've had good close competitive games through the first half and into the third, and, and right now through almost 20 minutes, we've had nothing short of uh, pretty much good entertainment. Yes, you're right. Fourth and forever. I, I don't know why they don't punt it here because look, they're pinned mm, back all oh the way boy. to the yeah. 17, 18 yard line. Well, 28 perhaps. Let's see what they do here. Caleb. It looks like they're setting up for a punt. With 111 to play in the half, you, you'd hope that they, yeah, this is a punting formation. So Should be further back, the kicker. They've got their gunners lined up. They've got their, uh, pa their punt protectors. But they're only up. bringing four, so. Yeah. <clears throat> As we wait to snap. Ravens God, they won. only had nine on? Wow. Getting these, they punt so rarely they didn't know what they Where's were Where's the time count? Yeah. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, they're going to punt it, and uh, it is away. It's a oh, short ooh. one. It's going to take a bounce. 
For oh, I love Aston Wilmington Turf bounces. Got a good bounce out of that. They were fortunate. Very fortunate. Oh, look at that bounce. one go. 41. They got a break. 39 yard kick. Yeah, they got a good break there with that bounce and no return. So the ball will be marked at the 41 with 101 to play in the half. What do you think Miami Gardens does here? Do you think they do a couple of Hail Marys or what do you think they do? They got a minute. Well, they have, well, they have to do something that goes to the sideline to stop the clock. They don't have any timeouts left. They, they burn, burned them earlier. Uh, smartly used though in this first half. So if, and also incompletes don't hurt really either because that guarantees a stoppage of the clock. Yes. So if you're going to go for, go for it deep at least once and then run your offense. You have two other and possibly three other downs to burn. But if you're going to do something, do it to the outside. I'm with you on that. They're 50, 59 yards <laughs> away from some more points as they lead 8-0 with 101 to, to play before the half. Bailey's done a little bit with his arm, mm -hmm. but it's been mostly the ground game for both teams. Some confusion amongst the wide receivers. He just underthrew it on that last uh, previous play uh, possession. Back to the shotgun. Bailey awaits the snap as they're going to go three receivers split to the left, one to the right. One running back. They're going to run it. And he's met in the backfield. He does spin out of one tackle. Well, they're able to may maybe uh, get to the line again. They did operate no huddle late in the first quarter. Yep. So the clock is running with 47 ticks left in the half, and they're taking their time lining it up. They might be content to go to the half with, uh, with an 8-0 lead. Well, here they go. They're going to spread it out. Unless they get lucky on something deep, they're not going to be able to get to the 30. It could be wrong. Yeah. Shotgun, Bailey, three receivers split left, one to the right, one tail back. Up the middle they go. This time he's got a seam, number four. Now you spike it. Anthony Matheson, see if they do spike it as they, uh, they do move the chains with 11 seconds to go in the half. They Let's should be what... able to. They... Well, they're going to run a down, play. First down, they'll uh, shotgun it. Four wide, three to left, one to the right. He's going to air it out. Bailey mm. out of bounds. That's it. And that's it for the half as we have the Miami Gardens Ravens visiting from Florida 8 and the Wilmington Pilots 0. The Youth National Preseason Playoff Championship here from El Camino College. We'll see you guys after the halftime break. That's a real spill. We for the turn up, bro. We catch those five-hour flight to come loo to a bunch of scrubs. You feel me? We want to see. What the Florida boy?
Look. We taking over. Look. Fire in fire. 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 We fire. fire. Only if I say nothing. Hey,
Too much time to go. Here we go with the second half kickoff. It's a dribbler. Oh, boy. And it's recovered at the 40, and he's going to keep rocking with it. He's going to get flipped at the 41. Okay. Ravens football. Let's see if they will add to that lead of 8-0. So they took to the air a little bit. Uh, Bailey showed some arm strength. A yeah. little bit of an underthrown pass for that pick. Oh, right. Yeah, but, the double uh, coverage. But other than that, you know, he pretty much on the ball. Let's see if they can uh, run a balanced offense here and uh, get some more points. From the 41, they're going to mark, or 42, they're going to mark it. With 9.54 to play in this uh, third quarter. Bailey is uh, setting up the play with four wide. To the left, to the right, one tailback. He's going to hand it off to that tailback, and uh, he's going to get wrapped up. Wow. Wilmington defense smelled that one pretty mm -hmm. quick. They snuffed it out. Well, at the least they way. tried up the gut. I give them credit for that. There's possibly too much speed by the defensive front and, and also from, from the safeties that, that may choose to crash in. Yeah, they, the penetration was instant. Uh, so they lost a couple. They're at the 40 now. Second down and 12. Careful. As they're uh, 9.27. <laughs> we're we're not their babysitters. Uh, it's incomplete. He was looking for number one. Couldn't find him. Josh, Joshua? Joshua. Joshua. Trader. Trader. Yeah. That's okay. I was standing on the ledge of the upper deck just to get a picture of the field. Because I, lo I love high angle. So. 9.22 to play in the third. And that, we're going to go to third, uh, third down here. That's where the kids get that from. I'm, once again, a bad influence. <laughs> third and long, third and 12, as uh, Bailey surveys the field from the shock on four wide set. He's going to air it out, and okay. it's caught. And the receiver makes a nice move for a first down. That was all the receiver right there. Yes, Trader, it was. Uh, made a move and made him pay. Chance Robinson with the reception, and he, he made... The, the moves, as Jay mentioned, necessary to make the first down. It's yards after catch. They're so important. And there's never been a more, uh, no, never been more focus on yards after catch than, than in today's football, last 10, 15 years. Yes. So first down as they move the chains inside the 50 to the 48 yard line, 47 yard line of the Pilots. Handing it off quickly. He's got a hole. He's going to bounce it to the outside and gain about three yards. Anthony Matheson. Now they're mixing the run and the pass, which is nice. You, you, keep, is nice. You, keep the, you keep the defense on their toes. You got to keep them off balance, and that's how you do it. You dial up something different, and so that'll bring up second down and about seven from the, uh, they're, now they're inside the 44 <clears throat> with 8.22 to play in the third quarter. Their 8-0 lead, Bailey and the shotgun. Again, up the middle, this time he no, breaks through one, one tackle, but he may be a yard. Maybe a yard. Third down. Now, previously on third down, they went to the air. Let's see if they do the same. And it looked like he was limping. Uh, Noah Keohuloa, who had the, who made the tackle earlier. From the 43, third down and a long six, short seven. Bailey surveys the field with a four wide receiver set. One tailback. He's back. He looks like he's going to throw. He's Deflected. That's a catch and a first Ooh. down. Number six, Denzel Johnson. Moving the football, mixing it, it up. In spite of the slight deflection, it appeared. Yeah, he came down with it. Usually ruins timing completely. 35 yard line, first and 10 for Bailey and the Ravens from Florida. Up the middle they go. Oh, snuffed it out. Noah Kiaholoa. Who 7 11. Still has spring to his step. He came up about two plays earlier. A little shove from a lineman. <laughs> no reason. Uncalled for. A lot Look of fun to watch. How big that kid is. Massive. 53. Who is that guy? Fruity Pebbles ain't he what it used to be. Aguilar is <laughs> a big kid right there. Beast. Second down. Running it again. This time they got a little bit of room. Back to da the line of scrimmage. Davion Gauze with. With the assignment there on second down, and right now it's just the defensive front and the secondary is crashing in, closing the A, a and B gaps that are really making the difference so far. Yeah, the Wilmington, the, their hogs are plugging the holes at third and long, third and about nine. Bailey 
He's got four wide. Again, he wants to throw. Oh, that oh. time he missed his man. In and out of the defensive back. Number 22 was going for that. And that is right there. Nazareth Williams. Nazareth Williams. He had that nice pick earlier. Well, the problem... Oh, go on. Yeah, he couldn't come down with that one, but... Chance Robinson stopped at, his, at, uh, at Wilmington's 30-yard line, and then the ball zinged past him the two yards that he needed yes. to make the catch, and it, it almost fell victim to an interception. Yeah, that would have been a bad one, but now they, you know, they're going to go for it. That's what they do here. <laughs> Look at how many they got. They got three receivers to the left. An empty. Split to the right. Four receivers to the left. Two deep zone. Two deep zone, and they got five wide. Look at Bailey in trouble. Ball is loose. It appears to be recovered. I, and I don't think the ball went forward I out of his think hand. That's a fumble. I don't. I don't think that's a tuck rule at all. I think that's a mm -hmm. fumble. And that's a turnover. That would have been a turnover anyway. So yes, either 35 or 40 didn't make much difference. But they crashed in, and, and that's the thing. You can make those gambles. Yeah, the pressure, the blitz played off in a big way, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> They got it. I'm still going to say first to 15 wins. That was not a, a not, not by. I think oh, you're so, right. they, so they are moving it back to 35. So they are ruling it an incomplete. Okay. So maybe well, his arm didn't move forward. So yeah, not, mu not much difference in field position. Yeah. So apparently his arm did come forward with the ball, and they're going to call an incomplete pass. Okay. You're just seeing trends now where the, if you get inside the 20, it's going to be a major accomplishment. <laughs> right? From the 34 defensive ball game here. Pilots football. Shotgun. DeVoe is going to hand it off. Nothing there, man. Cameron he, Williams. You know, both defenses are no, eating this the run is game great. for lunch. No. <laughs> I mean, dinner, it's I an say. extended lunch. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Just eating it up, and uh, that brings up second and long. Yeah, I mean, honestly, get used to it. I mean, if you didn't in the first half, you got to now. I mean, we're all There's, armchair quarterbacks, but play action might be something to do because... If they it bite on it, you're right. It hasn't happened wide yet. Open. DeVoe facing second and long. Back at the 32 yard line. Yeah, there's nothing like a good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's back. He's going to hand it off. Nice running room. And he makes something happen. They're going to be. They're going to be up to the 40. 39, the 40. With 5.32 to play. It's, it's a manageable third down. I mean, it's a classic play, the play action, but there's nothing better than the quarterback just, just leaning forward, holding the football as though he were handing it yes. off to his tailback to, to sell the handoff. Yeah, Brett Farr was good at that. A lot of, a lot of great play action. Dave Craig was right. good at that. Here's another handoff. This time he gets the corner. Ball is loose. That Kobe, was, uh, Kobe Boykin Kobe loses Boykin. it. Boykin, ball is loose. Still loose. Ravens football. Anthony Matheson picks up the loose change at the seven. Wow, that's a huge play right there. Yep. As Boykin had a, a nice run. He got the corner. He was going to move the chains with a first down, but he couldn't. He lost the handle. Right. And uh, Ravens picked it up, and they're all the way down to the seven-yard line. That's, that's a devastating turnover mm -hmm. because the way the scoring's going in this bunt, I, another touchdown here might be enough. Too insurmountable. Uh, way too insurmountable, right. A lot of football left, but you never know here. This might be the nail. Because uh, it's a slow developing novel. It's it's like 80 chapters, and you're only on the third. You're right. We're in the third quarter with 4:52 to play, eight yard line. First and goal, Ravens. <sighs> Bailey. Oh my goodness! That guy said, "Sit down. You're not going to have it happen in this house right here." Number 12. Noah Kia Holua Holo Huloa. Is bringing the heat, and he has been very active coming off that edge. Good stuff here. That was a great defensive play. Second down and goal, eight yard line. Bailey's got one tailback and four receivers. They're going to go up the middle. This time, he's going to try to shake and bake nothing. Well, it's 55 in red that caught him on the arm. And Brandon the Baker who brought him down first, and then the rest followed to complete the tackle. Clean and and that, that's the key. He just brought him down. Yeah, they got to get a handle on him and then clean up the mess, and they did. 3.52 to play. Third down and goal. 
still there at the eight yard line. Let's see if Bailey puts it in the air this time as the Ravens have an 8-0 lead here in the third quarter against the Wilmington Pilots. And we've Movement. got whistles. Oh, we had people on the field. See a that, lot that, that's what that thick end line is for. But what, I, what is entertaining me is, remember in the AFL, they, they had cameramen on the field. So it, yeah. it, it, it gives me a chuckle to see cameramen on the field here to get the real close yeah, they're getting, photo shots. They're getting great shots. So third down and goal, eight-yard line. Let's see if that defense holds or will the Ravens punch it in. Bailey, survey. Oh, he's got all Too much. of time. Oh! Uh, looks like number 10. Double zero. Oh, double zero. Jeremiah Smith with a touchdown. Eight yards. Cedric Bailey had all the time in the world, found his man, Jeremiah Smith, from eight yards out. That makes it 14-0 as they line up for the extra. And they're talking about it. They're dev devising their strategy as they're going to mark it at the three-yard line. I don't know if they call it time. So, so if they go from the three, that means they're going to go for the one-point play, right? They're not going to try to line up for the two-point play. You, you, would, you would venture that would be right. All right, here we go. Extra point time. Ravens now lead 14-0 with 3.23 to play in the uh, third quarter. I'm going to gamble Miami took the timeout. Oh, they're going to line up for the two-point kick. Here comes the kick to try to make it 16 to zip. Lining it up, it's up, Look it at that. is. Oh. No, he did not get it. Straight on like Lou the Toe Grossa. He's got a sock. All right, all right, fine. I named something from the 50s, I'm over it. 3.23 left until three quarter time. I said 15 could win it. They're at 14, it's 14 nothing. Ravens on top of the pilots. I'm still entertained by this one. It's really intriguing. It, it, we're at about chapter 12 of this 80 chapter story because it's getting there. Let's see if Wilmington, the pilots, if they can find some offense because thus far it's been all Ravens. <clears throat> Stellar defense on both sides of the ball, but Ravens have found a way to score and that, that, that turnover was key. Yep. That fumble oh my gosh. was massive. Kobe Boykin made a great play outside and just lost the handle and the Ravens capitalized and now they got a 14-0 lead and let's see if the pilots could answer. Who knows? That might light the fire that they need to uh, matriculate down the field and get some more points. Awaiting the kickoff from the 40, El Camino College. It's away, and that goes right by the returners. Oh, boy. This could be dangerous here to the 10, the 15. Oh, my gosh. That's a hit right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. He no flags? Mac, no flag. 17-yard line. They're going to mark it, and uh, Ravens players are pretty. Davion Gauze. My goodness. Yeah, he put the wood. Whew. He's a thumper, man. He put <laughs> the wood on that kid. So that's violence right. is still in the game. Yeah, that's it's refreshing. Right there. <laughs> hey, NFL, watch that. Uh, that's the, how you play football. Yeah. It's getting ridiculous with the helmet rules. Oh, and tackling. Oh, it's boy. like, how can you not? 
It's yeah. going to be such a point of emphasis that the games are going to be dragged down. Yes. But then you, you've seen it before with point of emphasis rules that once the regular season starts, they sort of ease off. So that's what we hope for. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for because it's ridiculous. I mean, we might as well have the guys wearing dresses because <laughs> it's just not looking like football. From the 16, they're going to mark it. First and 10. You can lead with your sternum every time? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't... Right. Uh, it's crazy. This isn't track and field. So they're going to bark him back even more. It must have been some kind of a penalty which uh, against we, the pilots. And which we uh, regrettably gonna, missed. Now they're, they're going to have to go... <clears throat> wow. They're going to have to go 93 yards for the end zone now. They're back to the 7-yard line. 8-yard line. 92 yards. So 313 to play in the third quarter. Uh, they forgot a flag at the 50. That's oh, nice. there is a flag. Yeah, there's some <laughs> dirty laundry at the 50. Did not see that. Yeah, no, someone's going someone's gonna to pull a flag, and it's Ansel, not there. To injury. I mean, that guy got walloped, and there's a penalty against you. Crazy. High snap. DeVoe. Oh. Uh, Whoa! He got it. That is a great pitch and catch right there to the 35-yard line. Is that number three? Yes. Number three, that was Orion or, Kupu. We got a Polynesian powerhouse here. A lot yeah. of Polynesian. And all three here. games, that yeah. and that and Hawaiian. Yep. From the 35, first and ten. That's that's a great little. Hey, and where are the better linemen come from? The American Samoa. That's also. exactly right. Hawaii. To their credit. Samoa. 2.36 to play in the third quarter, trailing 14-0. Here come the Pilots. First and 10-35, they're going to hand it off. Looking to for the corner. No. That looked like a face mask. That did. He looked like he grabbed the face mask. No Maybe flag. not. Maybe a horse collar, but no my flag. goodness. Just swallowing the whistles here. They're Maybe. Letting it go. Keeping the flags in their pocket. Uh, that'll bring up second down in about 11 from the 34. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Trailing by 14, the Wilmington Pilots looking for some offense. I like that pass play. Let's see if they do more of that. As uh, DeVoe, quarterback, and yeah, the shotgun. He's going to drop back to throw. He's got his man. And more. He's going to break a tackle. He's still going to the 45-yard line of the Ravens. It was number three again, or yeah, Ryan Poo -poo. That's his favorite target right there. You really have to think at this early, uh, no huddle, mid, mid portion of of the second half. Timeout, Miami. That's their second. Miami Gardens is, wants to oh. talk about it, and uh, we got some momentum for the uh, Pilots as they're going to the air. You know, if you got a name called the Pilots, you'd think you'd want to put it in the air a little bit. Right, you are, Bob. They are. Good stuff. You got to think with 10 minutes to 10, 11, 26 to go is how many possessions you have left. There's not much. You're lucky to maybe get two more. And so right now for Wilmington, the impetus is on them right now to score. You have to because you don't know how many more times you're going to get the football in, in these short 10 minute quarters. Yeah, they're, they're feeling the heat. Tick, tick, tick. We've only got, you know, like you said, 11 and a half minutes to go. And it's thinking ahead and thinking about the now. And right now, <laughs> they're airing it out, man. They're just bringing it, and I love it. And now they're at the 45. Let's see if they can capitalize on this momentum. Or that timeout, you know, it, it was a good call timeout if you're Miami because... To stop them, uh, it, yes. You're down to one, it. timeout, uh, but yes. Because they're on their heels. And uh, let's see if the pilots can... Uh, Keep it going. As they've got first down, it's at the 45. Again, one minute, 26 to play in this third quarter. They need points. They're down 14-0. Economize on plays, monopolize on opportunities. It has to happen. That's right. DeVoe is going to be in the shotgun. Full house backfield right now. Let's see if they split them out. Further instructions, see the three coaches, the uh, three amigos, as it were. Full back. No thrusting hips, I'm sorry. And they're going to run it. Nice run. He, he hurdles one tackler, and that was number four. Am I right? I don't not see listed. him on the roster. Yeah. Not listed, unfortunately. So nice gain, number four, as he gets uh, about six yards, really, on the, on the play. Second down and short, about four, facing the Pilots, as now they have the ball marked at the, uh, about the 38, 39. 
with 108 to play. The clock well, should be running. It's not. Slowed them down slightly, but they're still chugging along quite well. Yes. That was a nice run. Yeah. As they go again, full house backfield. Two receivers split left. Uh-oh. And they're going to inside handoff. This time Too he's in the backfield, and they're saying not going to happen. He's still trying to get something going, and they're going to knock him all the way back to the 46 for progress with 47 seconds to go here in the third. Yeah, that, whew, all that good running from the previous play. Nope. Now let's see what sort of an arm he has. Yeah, now we will because it's third and long. Third and about 12 mm -hmm. as they're backed up to the 47. Two receivers left, full house backfield for DeVoe. He's got it. Shotgun. He's going to throw it. Screen. Oh, no, gosh. in and out of the hands of his receiver, number seven. Mm. He was going for Dylan DeGresham. Couldn't f find the handle. Fourth down, and you know these guys are going to gamble and go for it. That's what they do. As, uh, it's and they got, need to, really. It's, it's got to go upfield. It can't, it can't 19 be... 19 seconds to play in the third. It can't be flare-outs all the time. DeVoe setting up the play. Two receivers left. Full house backfield. Well, they don't have to go up against the quarter horn. Third and long, or fourth and long, as he's going to let it go. He's got his man in he, and out of the hands. We said it had to be downfield, and there was an opportunity oh, washed away. He wants that one back. He had it. Yeah. He had it, and that's a turnover on downs. But do you think he felt footsteps? Anytime a wide receiver is going over the middle, and they're, maybe they're not used to the contact. Did, did you think that that wide receiver maybe held up half a step, and that half a step maybe cost him? It could have been, yeah, because those are big kids down there <laughs> in the wood. Yeah, there's, there's some beef. Uh, just thumping kids down there. So, yeah, he might have said that and saw that coming and said, nope, that's all right. <laughs> uh, turnover on downs. Ravens football, Miami Gardens with the lead and the ball at the 46 with uh, 15 ticks to play in this third quarter. Great to have you with us. What a night. Bailey, he's got four receivers, two to the left, two to the right, and as he oh. is going to keep it. And no. Tried to kind of scatter out of that. He couldn't do it. Caught in the backfield. That'll bring up second and long. And we end the third quarter with the visiting Miami Gardens Ravens all the way from Florida on top 14-0 over the Wilmington Pilots in this, California. This broadcast is brought to you live on YouTube from Generation Next Youth Sports Network. Today's game brought to you by Battle Sports, the fastest growing brand in football. Special thanks to AG Sports if you're tuning in on their YouTube network. The Youth National Preseason Championship right here in California. I love that they got all these kids all the way here. That's amazing. That's a lot of money. That is you not know, cheap. Flying kids out here, their the parents, the yep. coaches, and they made it happen. Great turnout. You can't see it on the visiting sideline because uh, they only opened up that recently. But this this uh, home sideline, it's, it's packed. Stuffed. It's stuffed. It's, it's stuffed. stuffed. There's a lot of energy. People here. Great electricity here in this field here in El Camino. We had a uh, we were talking about teams earlier. I was talking about to our fans in the previous game about bringing teams out. Uh, we had the Pensacola Lightning come out in 2010, take on North County Cobras. We had 2000 people there for that game we need and that. it was fantastic we need atmosphere it needs to continue up. as we start the fourth quarter the ravens have the ball 38 yard line <clears throat> uh oh i'm sorry 42 and they're going up the middle number seven davion gauze davion gauze nice carry he's got the rock for a good seven yards and ravens football Moving the ball well on the ground. Well, it's safe to say Gauze is covering up the, the, the bleeding of the he offense. He is. Good pun <laughs> right there. Intended. <laughs> Inside a territory of Wilmington. They're going to mark it about the 47 with 9.30 and ticking to left in this contest. Ravens on top, 14-0. Bailey awaits the snap. Two receivers left, one to the right. And handing it off. Uh, no, he keeps that was it. not good. Keeps it. There you go. Number seven. 
Gauze again. Gauze is a beast. Yeah, he ran over Kobe Boykin and got two additional yards. It's it's the fight for the it, you know. Gonna move the what, what, yeah, and, and it does first down. But one yard is still real estate earned. Exactly. You're right. It so uh, moves the chains first and ten. Ravens football, 43 yard line, 8:38 to play and ticking. They've got the ball and the lead by 14. They're gonna bring in a couple more players. And oh, this uh, is taking a little longer we might than have expected. A, delay, a game penalty here. We'll see. He hasn't counted. Usually the arm goes up for 10 and then to the side at uh -huh. five, but that hasn't been counted, and this Bailey, is probably gone 40 seconds. Bailey surveys with a three-wide set. One to the left and two to the right. Make that two to the left as they fly go sweep. inside. Fly sweep. No hold. gain there. As we got dirty laundry, let's see about we maybe have a hold. We'll see. Yeah, if it's in the backfield by the referee, then you have to venture. It's that. 8.04 to go, final quarter. Fantastic atmosphere. We thank the fans for coming out. Those of you watching across the country, we appreciate you watching what's going on. You may be looking at a future star and you don't know it yet. That's the beauty of events like this, a showcase where we've been fortunate enough to be able to film it and, and televise this to you. Stuff that we wouldn't even be able to do about 10 years ago easily. No, no. So th this is fantastic. You guys in Florida, you guys in Boise, you guys in Hawaii uh, have been treated to something pretty special and we appreciate uh, the pr privilege of bringing it to you. Absolutely. A lot of these kids are going to see names uh, in the Hot 100 recruiting list because mm. once they get to high school, they're going to be beasts. Mm -hmm. 12 and under and they already look like they're in high school. It's no, crazy. Yeah, you're right. Back to action with 8.04 to play in third quarter for a second down facing the Ravens. Snap is away, Bailey. He's deflected got his man. It, but it was it deflected at the line. It his is. arm hit a shoulder of a lineman. I see, all right, so. And that's why it was short to the receiver. You know what, I think they're calling it a catch. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. All right, I said corrected. So he, he, got, he found the handle, brought it in. Third down facing the Ravens. Third and short. They need about four yards. They're lined up at about the 37-yard line. Bailey and the shotgun awaits the snap. Three wide set. They're going to run it. He finds the hole. He's up the middle to the 25. That was, uh, that's going to move the chains to the first down. Two consecutive first downs. Yeah, that bowled his way through. 7-16 to play in the contest. And... If they punch it in here, good night. <laughs> right. Timeout Wilmington, their first. He's going to talk about it. Yeah, at this rate, if they could find the end zone again, it's going to be a lot for Wilmington to try to catch up. It's just not enough time on this clock. Mm -mm. 7.16 remaining in the game. We're not putting extra time on for the extracurriculars either. Championship of the Youth National Preseason here from El Camino College, home of the Warriors. Great atmosphere. As we're coming out of the timeout, Wilmington needs to make a big defensive play right here. Yeah, it's time to clamp down. The defense has been good, but it, it, it needs to be a little better. Yeah, they need to force a turnover. As if high expectations weren't enough. Be better than your best. From about the 27-yard line, the Ravens will set up shop. First and 10, Bailey awaits the snap. Again, four receivers. Two to the left, two to the right, one tailback. Let's see what they do here. Oh, we boy. got movement on the line. That's going to be a flag. But there's no contact. No contact. They're going to see. I oh, believe it'll be against that, the, that uh, hurts. the defense. So that'll make it shorter. First and five. Mark it at the 22. Not the way you want to start your defensive uh, stand here, if you're a pilot. Ravens, four wide. Bailey, he's got it. He's going to throw it. He's got he's all got the time. Look, wide oh. open. 
Touchdown, Ravens. What number we got here on the catch? He's an airplane out there. Is that number 10? It's eight. Number eight on the catch. Lewayne McCoy. Lewayne McCoy with the touchdown catch from 22 yards out from Bailey. And that's moving the fans to the exits. What do, I mean, I don't want to be one of the pundits to say I was right in what I predicted earlier, but you had the sense that first to 15 wins. I couldn't agree with you more. And, and the way this and, and, battle has gone defensively, uh, that's, that's exactly what is and happened. You just have that sense in the first quarter sometimes that there's not much is going to happen. Extra point attempt coming up. We got a player down. Right now we got a 20 to zero score as they're attending to an, an injured uh, Raven player down on the field. Saw a bunch of jerseys here. I, I know it's time filler, but I was impressed to see an authentic Joseph Adai jersey of all players. I was impressed. Looks like our player is going to walk off on his own accord with a little bit of a limp. Hate to see guys get hurt out here, but looks like yeah, it's a cramp. Right. Seven minutes nine seconds to play in the contest. Miami Gardens Ravens with a 20-0 lead. They're going to go for the extra point here as uh, the locals are going home. Yeah, this is almost in the book. Nothing but Florida fans here. Uh, yeah. At the closing. Well, if they could share some grapefruit with us, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Give a tip your cap to the Miami Gardens. Uh, Absolutely. They're traveling across the country, what, 3,000 miles? Yeah. And uh, bring in the wood. I mean, they, they really took it to this team here today. It's nice of them to bring their humidity with them. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually a real dry heat. If you're watching home, California, Los Angeles, it's usually very dry heat, but it's drippy humidity today. Well, it's actually kind of nice. Here is the two point run. Pass. No. Incomplete. Not going to happen. No XP, so the score will remain 20 to zero with 704 to play in the contest. Yeah, when the humidity is like this, it's like, wow, you get out of the shower, you put your clothes on, and you're wet again. That's just the way it is when you got that. I've been to Miami several times. Yeah, when you, if you think you sweat, it's what I've always said about Florida. Yeah. Um, Great for your skin. Clears up those pores. Oh, sure. Well, my perm is flat, so that's a bummer. <laughs> Say that again? My perm is flat, so that's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have had short hair since 1996, okay? Uh, That's all. I just had to throw Jay off there. Oh, my gosh. Back in the 80s, <laughs> I'm going to oh, I'm gonna have to shame my father. My dad, would, he would get perms. Oh. He had straight hair, but he would get it curly. Sorry, Dad, I had to do it. Well, work for him in the club at least, right? <laughs> he, was a, he was a disco king. Here's the 30-yard line return for uh, Wilmington, the Pirates. Now, let's see. JT can't can think straight now. I, I threw him off. <laughs> he did. He threw me both. <laughs> uh, we got 6.55 to play in the game. The National Preseason Youth Championship game. Get it together. Uh, the, uh, the all right, fine. Pilots are looking uh, to get some offense here. Maybe they can come out of here with a little bit of pride if they can get something in the end zone. You know, we're, we're, we're neutral observers. We want at least one score. We want a good get football something. game. Yeah. yeah. That's what we want. And I, I mean, I'm not disappointed by any sense of imagination. All the plaudits to Miami. Wonderful work. Yeah, there was, I mean, that turnover was killer. 
Uh, you oh. take that away, it could be a different ball game. Yeah. DeVoe on the shotgun, he's, now they're going to air it out. Look at that arm, he's got his... But it know, hit his shoulder. Yeah, he could not quite find his guy, number eight. Uh, J Jason Sosa was a intended target on that one. Not going to happen. So second down and 10, 6.50 to play in the contest. Wilmington lining it up. They're going to go four wide. But now they're forced to throw, and this, is, this may not be their character. No. No. DeVoe surveys. Time. Oh. He's running out of time, but he's going to scramble out. Looks like he's going to tuck and run. Oh, and a flag in the flag backfield. On it. We might have a holding penalty as he's up to the 43-yard line, up to the scamper. Clock running, 6.39, tick, 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 tick in the game. I mean, miracles do happen, but they need to happen right now. 17 years for me since I last did a youth tackle football game, and, and I, I've been impressed. This has been great. Of course, we're seeing, seeing top echelon talent. Uh, how long has it been for you? It's Oh, I've, God, I can't remember the last time yeah. I was at a pop warmer game. I mean, it's been that for long. For any reason. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're fortunate to be here for yeah. it and covered for you. Back up all the way to the 19 yard line. 6.23 and ticking. Penalty on the previous play. That's not a good thing for Wilmington. Now they're going to have to go 81 yards for Pager. Second and 25. And a zip code, yes. Yeah, second and yeah. 25. They're going to run it. And Oof. get a couple yards. Four yards, right? Yeah. Kobe Boykin with the run. Boykin got four, and uh, they're up to the 24. Let's go to, with, go to what works. He's had a good game, Boykin, and, and DeVoe, in not bad games. It's just you got to tip your cap to the Ravens' defense. Mm -hmm. uh, if they've taken any character from what great Ravens teams of the NFL counterpart has done, then, then, then yes, full credit to them. Kobe had that nice run. He just lost the handle. Other than yeah. that, you know, he was moving the ball. So shotgun Pass here. for a Wilmington there. Yeah, they're going and, to the and, air, you'd imagine. And too short zone. It's not even deep at all. And they're uh -oh. gonna, oh, he's got his guy over the shoulder. Oh. Cannot quite, quite come down with it, number seven. Dylan DeGresham. Over shoulder of the catch, that's, that's the hardest catch. That's what I did. I played receiver. That's the hardest catch is over the shoulder. And uh, he uh, just about had it. And DeGresham did his best, but it just couldn't quite pull down the trigger on that handle and, and they have ring it and, in. And they got to pass again, and this is not their character, but stranger things have happened. And the, yeah, this is a ground chuck kind of team, and now they're mm -hmm. forced to go in the air. 5.23 to play. It's third down, and like you said, 20-something now. 20, 21? And they're effectively going, well, still cover one. One deep safety. They're tight on the uh, line. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Safety blitz. Look at this. They're going to bring in the heat. They there are. He comes, and he's in trouble. And he's going to take a seat. Yeah, that. This, bring that yeah, it was not it, stuffed it was out at all. Yeah. And he had to scramble, and that was it. So. Oh, that was fourth down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought that was right. fourth down. So turnover on downs. And uh, the Ravens. Keep it on the ground. They're just going to keep it on the ground. They, Five they minutes, don't. 60 in the play in the game. And. They got this one in the bag, it looks. That was the last gasp uh, for the Wilmington Pilots, and uh, Ravens put their jackboot right on the neck and said, nope, that's not gonna happen. 26 yard line, victory formation. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> See, shotgun, they're gonna hand it off. In the backfield, but he lost about a yard. Got my attention. <laughs> Five minutes and nine seconds. Tick, 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 tick. 20 to zero lead. They can milk the, the clock. If Wilmington has two timeouts, they're not using them. If they had scored, then, then, then maybe they'd, they'd have the opportunity to use them, but there's, there's no sense in burning them for any reason now. Well, they want to get home. Yep. Second down and about 11 facing the Ravens from Miami Gardens, Florida. Shotgun for Bailey. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Full house backfield. You think they're going to keep it on the ground. 
And they are. As he goes up the middle, nothing doing. The run defense was pretty solid for Wilmington all Absolutely, night long. yep. Both run defense impressed tonight. It's not, not too many mistakes per se, but the ones that were exploited they were turned big. into points. Yeah, those. When you got a defensive ball game, you make a turnover and you're on territory. Well, he didn't make it in his own territory. It got returned deep right, to like right. the eight yard line. That's a killer. Shotgun. I see him. Oops. Throws. He's got his man. Oh, and that is a touchdown from about 24 yards out. Is that number zero? Eight. Number eight again. All right. Lewayne McCoy. That's his second score of the evening. This time from 24 yards out. Three forty-four. Three forty-four to play here in the fourth quarter, and again, it's the connection from Bailey to McCoy. This time from twenty-four yards out, makes it twenty-six zero, and they're going to go for the extra point here. Commotion over there. Got some extracurriculars off the field. Do dominoes went out of hand. Uh-oh, we got some action we'd rather not cover. Curricular. And they're going for the two, and they caught. got it. So was it uh, caught? Yeah. All yes, right. it was. So they'll make it 27 then? 20 makes the catch. So we've got the extra point up, and now is that a one-point play then, John? So it'd be 27. That should, that should be 27. All right, and we've got a well, we've got a fight off the field, uh, not involving any of the players. Uh, some fans getting into it, so they they might see call if the, the referees. Yeah, that's they might be kind of possible the because there's more focus on that than this. Players look like they're. Because if there's common sense, there may not be any sense into having this contest go any further. They were laying some hands over there. <clears throat> it started so to escalate got, after the drive. Uh, as you can see, we got a lot of coaches uh, taking the field and... Uh, and there's no sense in filming it, so I'm glad we're not. The horn's not going to solve anything. Yeah, he's been quiet for about five minutes. Yeah, pe peace and love, people. Peace.
Get that money. Ready, hit. We don't do, we don't do one, two. Anytime you get, it don't, it don't even have to be here, but anytime you get together and you're working hard and, and everybody has the same goal in mind. Kids fly all the way yeah, from it's Florida. It's not the kids' fault at all. It's you know, the car. Right, we gonna finish this game off, y'all.